Hey, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to convert units that will help you in any high school physics class. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. So in your physics class, you may have to do something, for example, convert units like 152 centimeters and you have to convert that into meters. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's look at all of our different prefixes that we can use in our standard international units. So we can have our base prefix, like meters, right, which would be on the order of 10 to the 0. Then you can have kilo, like kilometers. And so you have a 1,000 or 10 to the 3 meters for every kilometer. You can have mega, which is 10 to the 6 and giga, which is 10 to the 9. Now we can keep going, but this is enough for high school physics. We can go the other way too and get smaller. Right? We can have uh, milli, which is 10 to the minus 3. And we can squeeze in centi, because we use centi quite a lot, which is 10 to the minus 2. A micro, which is 10 to the minus 6. And let's do one more nano which is 10 to the minus 9. Now in this case, we want to go from centimeters back to our base unit. Now when we're going up this chart, we're going to want to divide by that order of magnitude. In this case, 100 or 10 to the power of 2, which is equivalent to moving our decimal place over to the left two digits. So this is going to leave us with 1.52 meters. Let's try a couple others. What about if we had five microcoulombs? How can I change that to just coulombs, which is the base unit? So I'm going from micro up to the base. So I'm going up this table. So I'm going to want to divide by that order of magnitude which is a difference of 10 to the 6. That's the order of magnitude. So I'm going to divide by 10 to the 6, which is equivalent to moving our decimal place over to the left 6 times. So if we're going to move it over to the left 6 times, we're going to end up with 0 0.000005 coulombs. So you can see what we did. The decimal was over here, but we moved it over 1. Two, three, four, five, six spaces. All right, well, what if we want to go down this chart? What do we do then? So let's try the example where we have, say, 2.56 kilometers and we want to go to meters. So we're going from here, kilometers, down to meters. So if we're going down this table, instead of dividing, we're going to multiply by that difference in magnitude, which is a thousand or 10 to the three. Now multiplying by 10 to the three is the same as moving the decimal over to the right three spaces. So that is going to give us 2,560 meters. Well, what about this example where we have 6.50 times 10 to the minus 7 meters, and we want to convert that into nanometers. Well, to go from our base unit down to nanometers, we're going down the table, so we're going to multiply by the order of magnitude, which is a difference of a billion, or 10 to the 9. Now we could move it over the decimal over to the right nine spaces, or we can simply just write times 10 to the 9. If I were to do that, it would be 6.50 times 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the 9 nanometers. And now if you look at your exponents and you remember your exponent laws, if you're multiplying similar bases, you add your exponents. So minus 7 plus 9 is just 2. So this leads us with 6.50 times 10 to the power of 2 nanometers. And a positive exponent means we move the decimal to the right two spaces. So we can still go further and write this as 650 nanometers. 
All right, let's try something a little bit more complicated, but something we use frequently in physics, and that's converting kilometers per hour to meters per second. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to write this as a nice, clean fraction, like this, kilometers per hour. And then I'm going to multiply by a ratio. Let's start with kilometers. I want to change kilometers back into meters. So I'm going from kilometers back into meters. So to do that, I will simply multiply, since I'm going down the table, by an order of 10 to the 3. So if I multiply by 10 to the 3 meters in every 1 kilometer. Now this doesn't change the values, because 10 to the 3 meters is 1 kilometer. So this is essentially me multiplying by 1. However, in choosing to put kilometers in the denominator, which is opposite to where we see it in the actual question, kilometers will cancel, and I'm left with meters. So if I simply take 90 and multiply it by 1,000, I get an answer of meters per hour. But I also want to change seconds. So how many seconds in an hour? It's actually 3,600. That comes from 60 minutes in an hour multiplying by 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 times 60 is 3600. So the ratio could look like this, 3600 seconds for every hour, or I could write it as in every hour we have 3600 seconds. Which one of these two do I want to multiply? Well, since I want to cancel the units of hour, I want to put hours in the opposite part of our fraction. So here it's in the denominator, so I want it in the numerator. So that's going to be this one here. So multiply by one hour for every 3600 seconds. All right, so let's focus on what I multiplied by. So this is 1,000 over 3,600. That is the same as 1 over 3.6. And if I'm taking 90 and I'm multiplying by 1 over 3.6, that's just taking 90 and dividing by 3.6. And that'll give us units of meters per second, which in this case is going to equal to 25 meters per second second. So a quick way to do a question like this, because you're going to see it often in physics, if we want to convert kilometers per hour into meters per second, we can simply divide by 3.6. And if we want to go back from meters per second to kilometers per hour, we do the opposite and multiply by 3.6. All right, let's try a density problem. Let's say I have 32 kilograms per cubic meter and I want to change that into units of grams per cubic centimeter. How do I do this? So let's start with 32 kilograms per cubic meter and let's change that kilogram into grams. So I'm going from kilogram back into the base. So I'm going to need to multiply by a thousand or 10 to the 3. So multiply by 1,000 grams per every kilogram. So our units of kilograms cancel. What about meters to centimeters? Well, from here to here, I'm going to need to multiply by a difference of 100, or 10 to the 2. So I can multiply that by, now I want the meters on the top, which is the opposite to where it is here. So I want it on the numerator. So for every meter, we have 10 to the 2, or 100 centimeters. Although 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters, 1 cubic meter is not equivalent to 100 cubic centimeters. So in order for our units to cancel, we're going to have to cube that entire ratio. And that cube is going to apply into every part of this. So it's going to cube meters, it's going to cube centimeters, and it's also going to cube 
that 10 squared, which if you remember your rules for exponents and exponent to an exponent, you're multiplying. So that becomes 10 to the 6. So what we're doing then is we're taking 32, we're multiplying it by here, 10 to the 3, and then we're going to divide it by over here, 10 to the 6, which you can reduce further to equal 32 divided by, right? If you are dividing, then you subtract your exponents. So 3 minus 6 is negative 3, or 10 to the 3. And if I'm dividing by 1,000, or 10 to the 3, we move our decimal place to the left, three spaces, which gives us 0 0.032, and our units of grams per centimeter cubed. All right, so let's do one last example, and this is going to be for acceleration. So if we have 0 0.24 meters per second squared, can you convert that into kilometers per hour squared? Pause the video here and give it a try. All right, so let's do this. We have 0 0.24 meters per second squared. So converting meters into kilometer. So we have one kilometer for every 1,000 meters, or 10 to the 3 meters. So putting our meters in the denominator, it will cancel here. Next, we have for every hour, we have 3,600 seconds. Again, seconds is in the denominator here, so we'll put it in the numerator here so they will cancel. But seconds squared won't cancel with seconds, so we need to square everything. Punching all of that into our calculator and checking our units gives us 3,110.4 kilometers per hour squared. I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.